I can see up here I've got a split pin. So I get my picking tool or my pick, I take the split pin off, and then a bit of pressure, I'm going to push the whole thing out. And here is the inside of a tap. So this is the bit the tap head goes on to. When I wind it that way, that opens it. That's as far as it can go. But there's a thread on that. If I show you that, I wind it right down and that comes off. I've got an O-ring up here and an O-ring up there. They seal the water in. So when I turn the tap on, although the water comes out the spout, it doesn't come up through the gland, doesn't pass it. I'll get a tub of silicon grease, a bit on the washer there. I put a bit on the washer there, a small bit on the thread. And this is you just sort of giving the tap a quick service as you've got it apart. So that goes back on. I can wind it right up. The body of the jumper, I can put just a small bit of grease in there again. And what I've got to do is, there's a hex nut after the washer here. And inside, that hex nut has got to fit inside that. If I put it in, make sure it goes straight in. Then I get the split pin. I've got to push the bottom of the tap and I make sure it's pushed home. That should move much easier. A couple of turns either way. So now, with that all re-greased, and then I've got to put the washer back in, or a new washer, that goes on. Then I put the screw in, I can tighten that up, and then I'm ready to put the gland back in the tap. 